Hello and Namaste, dear viewers. Welcome to Ganesh Rai Kalidoscope. I'm Monish Rai, and today I am at the India Social Center with the newly elected Honorable President Sri Jairam Rai Mitrampadi. Today we will be here with him to have a small discussion about his footsteps and uh, how he reached this position and what are his uh, future uh, plans for this institution as well as throw some light on his social service activities and his achievements that has he has been doing for all these years. Welcome Mr. Jairam Rai Mitram Padi. Hearty welcome to you to the Ganesh Rai Kaleidoscope. Uh, we are doing this as a series of uh, podcasts wherein uh, we interview uh, great people with their, uh, and discuss about their achievements. So uh, this is the first and uh, we are very happy that to start it with your uh, episode. So uh, welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Manish Rai. I'm extremely delighted for this new episode with me now. You are starting with the new episode. Thank you so much. And a hearty welcome to you for this great center, India Social and Culture Center. So to begin with, please throw some light on your birthplace, your parents, family, childhood, school, college, your beloved teachers and the extracurricular activities you were in. I was born and brought up at Mitrampadi. And my mother's place is Dimbriguttu. We are joint family even today. My father, he was a social worker as well as an agriculturist. My mother always is a selfless support to the community in large. Especially he is, uh, she is to call as a Annapurneshwari. And I have four brothers and one sister. First of all, my elder brother is, is no more now. But we are all even today like a joint family. Whatever the celebration, whatever the programs, we all join together, we celebrate together. And my, the uh, social, the culture, art and everything at my home. Because my father and mother used to celebrate most of the festivals with the entire village people. That is what it has created for me. It is an inspiration from my father and mother for all the social and cultural activities. And even today, in my place it is called as Mitrampadi, is known to most of the villagers, most of the people. Because people used to come and people always used to talk about that. When my father and mother always used to contribute whatever the best possible in their ways. That, that inspiration has come to me in my early life. Today, last 25 years, whatever the best possible, I am supporting for the social, cultural and other educational, whatever the activities is going for the favor of the social as well as the country wise. This is actually one of the most important for each and every individual's life. Whatever the way you can contribute to the society, it really reflects in your life. That we should do it. Irrespective of the amount, whatever your capacity, whatever you are able to contribute, please contribute to the society for the betterment of the society as well as of the country. So again, coming back uh, to, your, uh, uh, to your school life and uh, college life, because as a leader, Maybe that was the point wherein uh, it shaped you to a leader that you are today. So, if you want to tell more about it. Yes. My primary school was uh, started like uh, Tingaladi Primary School. I had an opportunity to become the school pupil leader when I was in 7th grade. That time, the teachers, they were really selfless service to the children for and they always, they molding the children into a different shape. That is what I really got an opportunity. They made me as a leader. From that day onwards, wherever there is an opportunity, wherever there is a possibility, I am trying my level best to do the service. 
to the society yeah so it's often said that uh, bunts are the born leaders okay. so so uh, tell us more about the uh, opportunities that you got to serve as a leader and yes. uh, you know that is where all your achievements come from of course because uh, when i was in uh, school as a school people leader then i went for the higher uh, education in uh, puttur that is saint philomena high school i had an opportunity to serve in uh, different divisions as a uh, volunteer as a committee member then i went to saint philomena college for my degree that i had an opportunity to uh, r- to play in a different roles like uh, dramas skit and as well as in college we had an yakshagana so i participated in yakshagana i was one of the member of the yakshagana team and that time i had an opportunity to serve as a student bund student union as a treasurer so of course that time i have seen the so many bund leaders who are who were serving to the society that of course that is another part of inspiration for me as a leader great so that was uh, from your birth till your education in puttur and then mm. then you ha- have moved to bangalore to pursue your higher studies how was the journey to bangalore and what were your accomplishments there yes so before that i would like to add one more point here the in our bund community late Shri Sundaram Shetty Mulki. He was the chairman of Vijay Bank. Yeah, the founder of uh, Vijay. founder of yes. So he has really has given an opportunity to the Ban community to serve in a better ways. Mm-hmm. So that is also one of the part of inspiration for every individual Ban. I can say. Then I moved to a Bangalore. I was uh, doing CA with V M Shetty and Company. Then I was practicing as auditor. by that time i had an opportunity to serve in bunt community uh, there uh, bangalore bunt sangha is one of the leading bunt sangha almost somewhere in uh, every part of the country so that there was a, a youth wing in that so i had an opportunity to serve as an honorary president of bunt youth with the support of the leading bunts in B- bangalore and their guidance their support and their experience definitely it has gained for me for to develop my leadership of course we have served in so many social activities when i was in a president like i camp medical camp and so many other social activities whatever the best possible way wherever we go we serve as a social activities and also had an opportunity to serve in a lions club and uh, we have started one uh, tuluvarank association i was the founder treasurer that was a great opportunity for my, our art culture and social activities to spread over great so that was all about india and then you moved uh, to the gulf of course so, yeah so i just wanted to know like when did you arrive here and how did you begin your professional journey and what were the activities that you were part of uh, after you arrived to the gulf I came here 1999 in Abu Dhabi. I joined Bin Fardan Group as a finance manager. Now, last 25 years, I am serving in same company as a Bin Fardan in Bin Fardan Bin Fardan Group as a Group CFO. S- same time, I had an opportunity in a different organization, different so- associations, especially like Ban Sangha, Kannada Sangha, whether it's Abu Dhabi Kannada Sangha, B- Sharjah Kannada Sangha, Dubai, Tulu uh, Sangha, then Bihar Association, KCOs, so many associations. I participating. I am involving each and every association wherever that's possible, whatever the best way. I am supporting. they also uh, inviting me each and every organization for their programs i am really happy to join all each and every organization in whatever the aspects possible then i had an opportunity to join india social and cultural center i joined here 2003 as a member then i had an opportunity to serve as a honorary auditor then i became then 2018 and 2019 i was unanimous I, i was elected as a honorary vice president 
it was a great opportunity for me to serve the center because india social and culture center is one of the biggest nra center in the world and we have received the bharati samman award also this particular center and uh, lot of uh, popular leaders and including our uh, ex president of india visited the center the center is very famous for in all social and cultural activities we have all the facilities in the center it's equivalent to five star facilities all the sports activities cultural activities entertainment which and every thing is going uh, are taking place here and this center we have 1500 plus members with uh, and the, of course the entire the family members are also supporting are coming and enjoying the facility and whatever the best report we are always we look into in the india is always rich in art and culture that art whatever possible we are exhibit the art and culture in this great center and also where we we are living this great country this is the uae united arab emirates this country the art and culture and tie up with our indian art and culture so always we exhibit both is a joint venture always with the art and culture of india as well as arab and also there are a the lot of associations here they are also supporting for us and we are supporting for the every center and also isa always look for the betterment of the members as well as the indian community because we are for providing an opportunity to serve the center in different levels so i had an opportunity to serve other uh, organizations and also i am uh, uh, keen about that uh, like uh, drama skate and some other social activities so i always used to participate most of the associations in different levels that of course i really my a great thanks to each and every association organization leaders and members for giving an opportunity to serve whatever the best way possible that is how uh, you began your journey in the gulf and uh, you have been networking with lot of people and organizations here talking about your social service uh, your parents uh, they have been the uh, benevolent uh, donors of their time so how have you and your siblings carried on the legacy of the family of giving back to the society yes my parents of course that that time there was not a an, an amount uh, there was not a what we call it is huge amount but the selfless service was much more than the amount that was the inspiration has come to us in my family so myself i am last in 25 years involving with the, all the social and cultural activities whatever my possible ways so i ha- i am not a very rich uh, karodpati but whatever is possible whatever the god has given me strength for that i am sharing to the society in the better ways Edu- educational or the even for uh, uh, maybe a, a girls marriage or even medical or whatever is the so- social and cultural activities so whatever the best possible but wow, i always feel always stress on this whatever you do as a social and cultural or support to somebody for the uh, to support the less fortunate people but you should do it a selfless service not for any award or not for any uh, appreciation that will come automatically you need not bother about that part you, you have to do your selfless service so that will come award automatically will come i have received so many awards but i did i never applied a single award for anywhere nowhere but that has come that is for a god's gift i can say but you have to do with our selfless service irrespective of amount and also one more thing when you do something for the society irrespective of caste color creed religion go with the humanity that is very important in society 
humanity is the top of course you have to you you, uh, you have the religion you have the caste you have the community you have the family everything is fine but when there is a problem when there is a issue or when there is a circumstance you need to support you have to think about the humanity like for example it is a real the example of corona corona time only the humanity people irrespective of the caste color creed each people people is to support each other depends on their humanity that we have to continue absolutely great words yes. coming back uh, to, to giving back to the society you have played a, a major role especially during the covid-19 pandemic that to in your home t- hometown so could you let us know more about how it began and what all have you done yes the corona was started in uh, march 2020 of course that time i was here only but uh, that time i think uh, worldwide people were really really desperate mode what what will be the next day, uh, future irrespective of the money irrespective of the position but whether we can survive or no that was each and every member were talking about that yes i was also worried about that in that angle yes true but i used to always uh, see the news or videos in my native place or back home night one night i saw one video in my particular place there was some issue about uh, to distribution of rice uh, rice and all because there was a problem because it was a lockdown time then i felt okay something whatever possible we will s- support to the community to the our especially particularly in my village i can say my entire taluk i can say so whatever the best possible will support will try to support then i called the next day to my family five my brothers and all so then wherever possible we try to arrange a food packet so we distributed that was really as given an inspiration for others so the very next moment each and every organization they started to distributing the food kits and all so this is nothing but an humanity so the second part is uh, i think 21 that is the second corona that also there was an incident in my native place because there was in uh, one of the very prestigious one of the famous temple is uh, sri mahalingeshwara temple in that used to have a a festival that time that is what we call it as a joint wheel people used to come from different places and all when they came and they installed their joint wheel very next moment uh, by force it has to be locked down because of the corona they could not but there was a fam- uh, nine families with a group of 60 65 people they were suffering about the food they were suffering all the their day to day i thinks when i saw the video in uh, late night then i realized my god they came to our place and they are struggling for food because the the problem was it was a lockdown everywhere shop was closed hotel closed and people were not coming to that particular place and these people were suffering for food then i realized this is very very unfortunate the people who whoever irrespective of the caste color creed whoever comes to our place if they are suffering for food that is very unfortunate then i realized it was 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock night but night to whom i have to call so early morning next day i called that particular uh, paper that is a suddhi owner and i called him i t- told him whatever the best possible i will support uh, please give me all the details and all then he was really really appreciated still i remember that the his uh, words so then uh, he within 2 3 hours he gave all the details and uh, arranged all the this one so that inspiration really took in a larger extent because the after within 2 days we arranged everything that moment onwards every department every all the temples police station social association everybody was starting distributing 
so this is what we need when you do something not necessary the uh, the what is the what we call it as a numbers what, whatever the possible whatever the even small portion it's okay but it should inspire to others that always it feels happy and more than that absolutely because yes. uh, as you said uh, you were the pioneer in starting a lot of social activities uh, which inspired others in your village yes. or, or in your town or in your uh, locality to start and you know it, it spread across uh, the entire region now uh, coming to the uh, isc that is the india social center you uh, did swear in as the honorable president of this organization so how did that swearing in ceremony go in and uh, like what was your experience uh, so please let us know about it we did a swearing ceremony it was an excellent program function it was a uh, more than uh, 800 uh, members were there attended and it was and we have a committee we are all like a honorary service we are doing for one year honorary service we have the vice president general secretary then all the entertainment cultural sports secretaries literary and we have there are four region secretaries like east west north south there are four region secretaries our main intention to bring from jammu kashmir to kanyakumari all together in the center and isc is like one family so i under the isc umbrella all other community all the people are joined together to serve the center and its members and also the much more than that our rich art and culture to spread across the world that is our main criteria and also wh- wherever there is a possibility here whether it is a students whether it is a, a ladies a women men whoever whatever the best possible support the center is trying to support absolutely as a dynamic leader i'm sure that you must be having a vision of how your tenure should be so during your tenure what are the uh, plan of actions that you have thought in mind to be implemented in the isc in the coming year you see isc we have the calendar events whichever the committee comes there is a calendar events the major in that calendar events like for example india fest we have a three days program is a huge program that is around 30 40000 40, footfalls we can expect every year then another one uh, like uh, vishu celebration same time like diwali christmas new year and uh, uh, other than that all the like youth fest summer camp there are lot of calendar events now other than that calendar is what we can able to do that is what we are planning so there are two three events we are planning one is indo arab cultural fest when we are in this country this is a great country uae is a great country and is more than 60 country nationalities are staying together and it is one of the best harmony of this nation so here the art and culture also is re- extremely high potential so we are having a joint venture like indo arab cultural fest with the support of embassy and all other regional associations because we have so many in abu dhabi itself of course it is a registered is five associations and non registered maybe more than 150 associations in abu dhabi itself so all jo- with the joint venture we will go with the indo arab cultural that is one of the mega event what we are planning second one we are planning for job fair because job fair it is very important for our community especially our indian community here because so many people one or the other day losing the jobs and of course the corporate also they whatever the best possible they are supporting so we are planning for the joint uh, the job mela uh, we will invite most of the corporates here and whatever they require based on that the people can avail that job that's what we are planning and another one plan we have that is uh, isc international award ceremony that of course it is a uh, it is a huge job in this because there's a lot of uh, you can say a lot of work 
based on this particular event that we are to that is uh, two three events we are planning i'm very much sure that uh, you will be able to achieve all your plans in the, you. in the coming years now very recently you've been awarded the prestigious 2024 aryabhata award in india so can you tell us more about it please aryabhata award is one of the best award no doubt in that because uh, when they called me from bangalore so you are selected for the aryabhata award can you come on that particular day i was bit uh, because usually i travel because at least takes one week and now especially in the center because uh, hardly now one just one one and a half months only so there's a lot of programs here are lined up every evening you will you should be here so many other activities so many and so many other organizations are inviting as a a uh, guest of honor as a guest and you have to participate them so then i bit then it told at least for one day then i have gone through this aryabhata what is this award and who's presenting this award and all then i was, i felt really really extremely delighted in the sense this aryabhata award is a 49 years old com- association and they are really selfless service to the community they are searching the people who really deserve in worldwide the people in different categories so i thought this is work and when i saw this committee the association organization people the founders and other they are really dedicated for the this so then i thought yes i have to go so just for one day i went and i received the award that i am extremely delighted for that great and uh, i think you are really the most eligible for the award that you've taken yeah. because of your achievements in yeah. the field of social service and other activities talking about your family that is your spouse and your children yeah so uh, i'm sure that they say that behind every successful man there is a woman so i'm really sure that uh, your wife would be your moral support uh, and also your children so please tell us more about it yeah my wife asha jayaram rai and my son is tarnath rai and my daughter pranjala rai my wife she is a housemaker and my son is a qualified engineer now of course he is looking for the study in ms for ms in us and my daughter she has joined engineering now in it they are really they are extremely they are supporting for my social and cultural activities even though they are not very much uh, public in the social and cultural but the back door the back side they are completely supporting for my social and cultural activities whatever we do they they also they also always feel like this we should do as a selfless service so uh, award whatever award this is all immediate this all it will come by by uh, Uh, by themselves it will come you need not go and uh, find mm. so but do it as a selfless so, so their intention is very clear and whatever the best my support for the social and cultural they always supports and including even my mitram party family my brothers my sister sisters um, my sister son is uh, harsha kumar rai he is also very much in social and cultural so we are all uh, the actually the entire family is in social and cultural that is i can say yeah, indeed your uh, your family is really blessed at this point if you would like to thank someone in your life it might be someone or uh, multiple people so uh, who would that be first and foremost my father and mother of course they are physically they are not uh, with me now but they are blessing their support even today with me for every time because of them today whatever i am holding this position because of them mm. and of course my mitram party family my dimbri family and also my i am born and brought up at kedambadi village that is called kedambadi and of course puttur talo and the all other associations wherever i go i always join with the associations mingle with the people that support that blessings i really whether it's all the association regional associations because if i name it it may be more than 
so all the associations where they are really supporting including the back home bangalore puttur everywhere so i really appreciate each and every one this support because of that whatever your achievement it is not because of our person individual individual we cannot do anything or individual i will not be i am not nothing but because of the pub, because of the support from the family because support from the people support with then only you can achieve something that is because of others absolutely and uh, i really appreciate one uh, dr abdul kalam because his simplicity that whatever whichever position he has has reached he has all became the highest position has reached even though his uh, simplicity i was really appreciated and of course that definitely for us it is the footstep is the dr abdul kalam for our life indeed indeed and another one for art and culture i really appreciate dr mohan alwa because his contribution is i can't compare to any other individual there are so many other people family members or some friend circle here the center even this india social center there are lot of people who supported for us because there was a election so election means that definitely the people has to support then only you can achieve so i appreciate each and every one uh, my uh, what we call it as a my my sincere gratitude to each and every one of the member who has supported in my life and of course in future i am each and every blessing and the wishes from each and every i am expecting in future too so coming towards the end of our conversation i would finally like to ask you what would be your uh, message to the youth of today and uh, the parents uh, who are supporting them for the youth first and foremost you have to remember your parents you have to remember where you born and what up that is very important now today world is small as soon as you require as you give your finish the your education you can move anywhere in the world but you should not forget your back home whatever the best possible support to them that is very very important and also whatever the best possible do some social and cultural activities wherever there is a less fortunate people try to support them this is very important money is not everything humanity is a main thing so consider think about the humanity and support the whoever the less fortunate people and go with each and every one in a good terms so irrespective of caste color creed all join together as one family that is always keep in your mind and the back home your family your place your school that's very important whichever the way you can support you support and enjoy the life in a very pleasant manner great really inspiring words uh... Uh, it has been a very resourceful conversation with you thank you uh, we would uh, like to wish you all the very best thank you for your tenure as the president of this great organization thank you and uh, thank you very much wish you all the very best uh, on your tenure as the honorary president of uh, your social center here i present you this plant which is a symbol of life and uh, prosperity so may this organization flourish under your leadership and uh, let it grow to uh, reach new heights all the very best thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much for you sir manish sir and also sir ganesh sir skeletoscope okay. this is a great opportunity given to us and this center is for each and every one of us is that for indian community